welcome to this lecture so in this lecture we are going to make a simple web crawler so what we are going to do here is we will just fetch the content of the websites so instead of just getting some of these uh, images or everything we'll just get only the url of the particular website which is the basic usage of a web crawler so if you have learned about spider if uh, if you have heard about the spider from anywhere that is going to do same as this so it is going to just crawl in the web page and it will just face the url so that we can attack to that url and see if it has get or post method we'll see all about that in the javascript section which will be dedicated section for the xss attack but for now let's see how we can make the simple web crawler with the help of the python language so first of all we'll just keep this request method from the previous lecture which will just get this url response and see if that exists or not it will just particularly send us a request object with a status code of 200 that means that website has been there that means it is okay that is status 200 means the okay signal that means there is the presence of that website now in this target url i want to include this url so this is our test php vlnweb.com url it is a test website so let me just insert it here so let me just remove this because we have already kept that http over here in the request get so we have a http over here so i have to make this colon right here this is the part of the path so now we have our target url ready so let's get the response now first so let me just get the response as in request so we have to just pass to this request method first and we'll just pass this target url so we have now passed this target url let's print that response so what we're going to do is we have to now see the response in the form of markup language so if i just go over here and if i just see the page source you are going to get this content so this is the url or this is the page content that we want to fetch so this is made by the html which is a markup language so we have to now fetch the url from this markup language or basically from the html so we want to target only those links which have this url because these are important what we don't care is about these images so web crawler only acts in a way that it has to fetch only the url it doesn't care about this image it doesn't care about this table border anything it will just care about this anchor tag href attribute so let's go to our pycham again and we have to now see the content so if you want to just get the content it is done by this content attribute so this is basically to get the html content or basically this will give you the content of the web page so let's see if this can do or not so if i just run this you will see that let me just run this and i'll just go here then you could see we have faced the content of this website so you could see everything over here so it is in the single line though but we'll just make or modify this in a minute but you can see we have faced the content this is a markup and we have just faced every content over here from this website so it has this html languages made of the content it has the width the table and everything over here so we have successfully faced the website content with this simple response and we just face the content from the website in this script so next thing what you need to do is just modify this script so as to get the link from the website so we have already learned about one thing that is the regular expression so if you just remember in the previous lecture we have learned about the regular expression and how to use it in our programming language or basically in our script so first of all what you need to do is you have to make use of that regular expression and to do that you have to import that regular expression and i'll just say import re which is for the regular expression after we just do that let me just define one new method which will just um, extract links so this method will just extract link because if you see in our output there is everything over here 
which is unnecessary information so there is a relational sheet or there is basically this template php file everything is there this is unnecessary what we really want is only the link because web crawler is only interested on the link it will just harvest those link so that is the main reason we are making this extract link so from that website we want to extract only the links so for that we want to return by just refining with this regular expression so we want to make use of this find all method we have only learned about the match and the source method in the regular expression section where we just give the pattern so it is same as the match and source but here what we do is we pass and we source in that sentence or in that content so here i want to just pass now the pattern so first argument to this find all is the pattern so pattern should be inside this single quote now i'll just put the pattern over here so i'll say yacharyf because if you just go over here all the links are inside this yacharyf so let me just show over here then you could see it is here that is the link is inserted inside this href attribute of the anchor tag that means we are interested to source for this href tag so let's go for this href tag we have to add other wildcard characters too so first wildcard character will be this colon and the next one is this question mark so this is very important so we we'll are searching for this href now inside this pattern so it should be inside now parenthesis because this is not exception this should be compulsory we are just saying that this portion should be compulsory so what we just did over here was we are just searching for href equal to an opening quote that means we are just making a pattern which will just get this part which is href equal and the sing double quote so we are just matching this pattern we are finding this pattern in every part or in every content of that document so we are just saying that get me href equal sign and this double quote in the document after this pattern is finished we want the next pattern and if you just remember this dot was a wild character that means anything so it can be the digit it can be maybe your alphabetical character so this dot means every alphabetical character and if you just remember this asterisk was any number of character so this dot was for alphabetical or digit or any character this asterisk was for one or more character or it can be also zero character so it can be any number of character for this asterisk and we'll just give the again this question mark maybe this is for absence or present at one so we have learned about this question mark in the regular expression if you haven't gone through it make sure you just check that section and you'll just get understanding about this wildcard characters so it is very much easy over here so after you just get this pattern you have to close with the double quote because if you see here this href tag is closed with this double quote so we're just searching for this pattern that equals with href equal to and double quote starting double quote we don't care whatever is inside after this double quote that is what we just saw here that is anything can be after this single or after this double quote and after that character is ended there should be ending with this double quote so that we just get the url from that so we just find that we just return that from this extract link so one thing what you can do here is instead of just making this request over in a gore you can simply remove this you can simply get a response here okay we are just returning that means we have to first get the response so we'll just get the response from this request module and we'll just use this get method we'll just pass here that is your url so that url should be sent while we call this extract link so instead of this request method now we have to pass that is we have to call basically this extract link method so now we have simply called this so instead of just printing this now uh, we have to now format this first so we'll just remove this so if you see here here is something that we are finding so we haven't uh, put another argument in this find all so if you ever remember in that case where we just source or match for the pattern in the sentence the next argument used to be the sentence 
but it is the not the sentence in this case we have to search in the document which is html document so if you want the html document it should be inside this response and content so we are searching this pattern inside this document which we just printed over here which contains everything from this anchor tag or basically division tag paragraph tag everything so next thing is just to go over here we'll just now print our hrf link so instead of this response so this is no further the response it is the link which is hrf link so now we have to just print that hrf link so we have completed our web crawler over here so if you see what we just did here was we just imported the regular expression to just um, use this method which is called findal which will just see this pattern in this document because this pattern is to just face that url from the document html document we don't care any any other thing in this document except the url so we are just going for the url and after this we completed everything fetching from this url let me just close this and now we just return that everything from url in this extract link we just get that link over here we just print that link so let me just run this real quick okay it is giving us an error because obviously we haven't have here the http so first of all you have to have the http and let it be the actual website so just make sure you include this http otherwise it is not going to work let me run it one more time and again it is saying something is missing so okay maybe about here we missed maybe so it comes because we have to now just decode it so first of all let me just decode this with maybe ut of it and let's see if this works this is a decoding technique for the content of the html so let me just run and see if this works so okay it is working so this is giving us the href link so you can see bunch of a php file over here so you can see much more php file so much of PHP file you can also see the link over here so our web crawler is working perfectly now there was a small problem because of this decoding technique which you should add in this content because this is the utf8 decoding technique for the html parser so you have to add to this response and we are just matching with this pattern now and i have already told about your pattern that is basically we are searching for hrf pattern and any character after this double quote and we have to close with this closing double quote at end we are just searching for hrf attribute in the tag and we just targeting this url so next thing what you can do is we can just make use of the for loop so that we can just make one link in a one line so what you need to do is instead of just printing this let me just comment this out so if you just see our output all of the link is in the single line so if you want each line having a single link you have to make use of this for loop so i'll say for link in href link i want to print a link so now if i just print again run the demo you will see nothing okay it should give you now so now it has every link in the single line you can see it has the css style too so you can see the link over here so we have successfully harvested the link from our web crawler but this is not actually a perfect web crawler because you can see it has some of the links but in the form of php so this is not a complete link it is a relative link so this link are called the relative link this is not the complete link if you just copy this and go and basically if you just put it over here this is not going to work because this is nothing and uh, this will work if there is a relative path for this so if you do something like if you copy this and put this as the directory after this forward slash this is going to work so that can be done with this parser so we have to make use of now parser to join this url with the link 
so we can do that now so first of all after we just get this chref link we can use the url parse so in order to just do that we have to import now url parse so if you do something that import me url parse this is not going to work because we don't have url parse in the version of a python that is greater than 3 so we have to first import or i can simply say from url library so if you want to work with this url parse to make this url look nice or become more like the url rather than having the relative path you have to use that url parse module so if you do something like import me url parse this is not going to work in the python newer version so all you have to do is you have to import first url library and from that you have to just get this parse and from that you have to import now your url parse so this is the way to import the url parse now you can use your url parse so what you're going to do here is we are going to make a new link for those type of relative links which have no meaning whatsoever over here so if you see this login.php is alone so we have to make something like this link for this login.php too so let's make that so first of all i'll just make use of this url parse so we have something that is url join over here which is the method so in the newer version you don't have this url join maybe so what we can do let's check for the documentation maybe so if i do this okay we can simply use url join so instead of url parse i'll just make use of this url join so in this url join what we want is our target url which is this url if you see this should join with this link that we just have here so you could wonder what happens for this type of link so what happens if this link is just explored for this type of link okay you can join you can join with these target links but what if we just find this so is it going to just combine the two link and make us again the link that is the concatenation of these two link no so that is not in the case of this url zone so it is only going to be active this part or this statement is going to be active only in the case of the relative link so it will be active in this part of link but when it sees that the link starts from http and all of this then this will just ignore and it will just print this link so let's see this in the action so now you can completely see we have concatenate over here so we have now that is that was uh, so let me just remove this again and let me show you so it was the case where we have these relative links now we have added from this url join and now let me run it then you'll see completely the new link for each of these relative link we have added this test php which is our target website from this parser so the new way to do this joining is not from the url parse in the newer version of the python it is from the url join so we used to do something like url parse before so we used to do this something like url parse and if should something like url parse and used to do with url join but this is not the case in the newer version you can simply use url join so here you have to first import url join if you want to use that url join so we have now made our simple web crawler but a powerful web crawler which will just get every test link of the website so that we can just test for the vulnerabilities in each of these link we have seen how to get the sub domain of the link in the previous lecture which was the important lecture too so this lecture was also important because we use now regular expression to match the patterns to find the link or basically the thing we want to match in the document that makes our uh, link or basically web crawler much more efficient than before we just join that link so that relative path becomes the complete link so this will be wrapped for this lecture so in the upcoming lecture we'll see about the javascript and how we can just use javascript to attack on these type of applications web applications and websites so see you in the next